Modern cultivation practices, using heavy tractors and machinery for successive passes over the ground, have caused great concern about soil compaction and its effect on cropping. The exclusion of wheelings from the cropping area leads to a more easily managed soil and very significant energy savings have been recorded. In some conditions these have been as high as 50%. A wide-span vehicle or gantry is the most practical approach to a system of controlled wheelings in the field. The potential for wide-span vehicle operations in an arable cropping rotation is being investigated with this 12 meter wide gantry. Seen here field spraying. The gantry is an ideal platform for a crop spraying boom. Movement due to roll and yaw which is amplified on tractor mounted sprayers is almost eliminated by the gantry. The gantry wheels are confined to permanent wheelways for all field operations. For travelling between fields or along the road the drive wheels are turned through 90 degrees and then can be steered independently. In either field or road mode the vehicle is extremely manoeuvrable. The widespread adoption of field gantries depends upon their potential to do most or all operations associated with arable cropping, including draft work such as ploughing and cultivating. Here the gantry is cultivating over its full width using four three metre wide frames which can be raised and lowered in any combination as required. On reaching the 12 metre wide headland, a pivot turn is made about either drive wheel to enter into the next bed. No time is lost in marking out fields and there is no need for markers on the gantry because accurate matching of bouts is automatically ensured by following the wheelings of the previous bout. With this gantry the number of wheelings are only half that of a normal tractor 12 metre tramline system. Because wheels are confined to permanent wheelways there are no wheel marks or ruts on the cropped area, the soil is more level and cultivations are carried out more easily at a constant depth. Undesirable compaction is avoided but if consolidation is necessary it can be applied uniformly to the seed bed with a lightweight roller designed to accept adjustable pressure loading from the gantry. The gantry is fitted with its own three-point linkage to which tractor mounted equipment can be fitted such as this four metre pneumatic drill. When using implements of less than full width obviously the bed must be traversed more than once to complete any operation. The implement will be repositioned along the gantry frame to make further passes over the bed. The elevated control position gives the driver all round vision to observe the operation of mounted implements. With conventional ploughing, tractor wheels produce soil compaction and damage below the ploughing depth. Even with a gantry system, Ploughing may be needed sometimes to bury residues. Because a controlled wheeling system leads to better soil management and avoids soil compaction, ploughing requires less draft and need not be so deep. Therefore the gantry can handle this six furrow plough at normal ploughing speed. A fully mounted cereals harvesting unit has been developed for the gantry. It consists of a two metre wide grain stripping rotor connected by an elevator to a grain thrashing system. 
These elements, which can be moved sideways along the gantry beam, deliver threshed material to a cleaning shoe. Grain cleaned by the shoe is delivered by gravity to a holding tank within the gantry frame. The tank is emptied by a screw auger into a trailer on the headland. A wide span vehicle gives a traffic free cropping area which leads to reduced energy inputs, better control of cultivations and drilling, accurate applications of chemicals and reduced crop damage throughout the growing season. As such, it offers the basis of a system to save the farmer a significant part of his input costs.